I'm not sure I understand this, um, this business about the school bus. Well, that's just it. The bus is the business. It's a movable store. A movable tire store. Exactly, exactly. It's a, it, you see, we take out all of the seats, just, just gut the whole bus and put the tires, fill it up with the tires. And then, and, and then you bring the tires to the customer at his convenience. You're a delivery service. Well, well, that's just the beginning of it because I would, I, <coughs> I would bring the tire, uh, change the tire. I'll put the tire on your car while you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> or anything else that, that you want to do. Uh, and, and then uh, we'd paint the bus a bright red because I think that would give the company its own individual identity and, and make it memorable, mm -hmm. a sort of trademark. Okay. And, so, and you have the bus already? My, friend, my uh, partner, Bonnie, has the bus and he has the uh, tools and then I bring the management experience. And that you have as well? That I do, sir. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. It says here that you're currently employed as an office furniture salesman? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. But I'm I'm ready to move on. <laughs> and prior to office sales, you were a tire salesman with uh, your father, uh, Julius Bick. That was that's my, that is my brother. Mm, brother. Okay. And why did you leave his employment? Well, he uh, he expected me to lie. And I don't believe that someone should have to lie to make a living. All right. Over and over, he would tell me that 15% uh, is rock bottom. I'll uh, sell below that, we lose money. That's a lie. See, in the retail tire business, the markup is always at least 30%. So 30 is rock bottom. <laughs> you know, what one should tell the customer. <clears throat> Let me show you. Well, good morning, Mr. Ford. I think I understand, uh, Mr. Bick. Let, 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 let me just show you. Good morning, Sam Bick. You're here to buy tires. Uh, y yes. Well, let's get down to brass tacks. This is the deal. The markup on all of my tires is 30%. I, and I will show you the company invoice to prove that to you. I'll do that for you, Mr. Ford. I'll make you my best offer. I'll split the difference with you. I'll take half the markup as my profit, and you'll take half the markup as your savings. Even Stephen. Fair deal. What do you think? What do I think? Or Yes, no, I'm back to normal now. Oh, okay. It's 15%. Exactly. But it's the same thing. What, your brother off? No, 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 no. My brother... <laughs> My brother will go to 15%, but he wants, he wants you to hold at least 5% if you have to, or 10% if you're going to lose the customer out the door. But the salesman who offers 15%, he's a failure. He's a man who doesn't know how to hold his ground. And who do you think, at the end of the month, gets the promotion, gets the bonus? The one with the biggest profit margin? The biggest liar. I'm sorry, I just, I want you to know that I would run an honest business, that I would not ask my salesmen to lie or uh, make them feel like a failure or some kind of a piece of garbage. <laughs> well, that's, um, I admire that. Your idea? Yes, sir. Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Mr. Ford, I want to thank you, sir, because this loan isn't just for me. I, mean, I think that it can change the way we think about American business. M Mr. Bick, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm really very sorry. I, that's it for now. I have to send your application on to Washington, and they will review it, and it's a whole process. Oh, uh, well, of course. Of course. 